All right, here we go. Welcome to Volskaya Industries, the place where they make giant robots. See, you know, I mean, Korea has small robots. That's cool, but Russia has giant robots, and that's oh. more cool. I mean, Japan has tons of giant robots, too, if I'm to believe anime. So. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just talking about Overwatch right now, though, you know? How do we know that they don't, Japan doesn't have giant robots? I haven't seen them yet. We've only seen a tiny half-robot, half-man. Maybe, like, 2% man, 98% robot. <laughs> that's <just> true. <laughs> But in any case, Africa Blue, this is the composition or something similar to it that I wish we would have seen previously. Like, go with your dive composition if you can. Try and run Jid on either the Zarya or the Diva. Envy, pretty classic. Uh, they're just going to run the same thing. Like, if it, who can blame them? This has continued to work for Envy. Oh, it's good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Chip Sion. No kidding. Yeah, that was a nice grenade. Let's rename him Steph Curry after that shot. I guess so. Yeah, he's hitting the threes, man. <laughs> hitting all the threes. Yeah. Hit a nice right. three on Hollywood to get 12% of his ult right out of the uh, right out of the doors. So he knows he some really of those on the locations where you can hit those long-range bi biotic grenades for some early ult charge. There too. Here comes Arhan on the Genji now. Africa Blue on the offense. And even though their team name is blue, their color is red. So don't get confused, because I know I will. All right, Recry actually going to be going for the Reaper here, not something that we've seen from Africa really that recently. Yeah. So if, can they get a flank off? Meanwhile, Envy's going to see this coming in and just reposition onto the high ground. All right, they're going to send end up, Adam up on the high ground, but not able to get the disruption they were hoping for. And Arhan taken out right away. Chips high in, man. He hits anything moving through the air with no problem at all. Recry getting some real good damage onto Coco here. He has to make it out, though. And that's tough to do. Taimu, nice hook onto Jin. Jin's going to get taken out. Taimu barely living through that one. Great start for Envious. I like the adjustment we saw from Envious. They move all the way to the far side here, away from any possible Reaper flanks that could be coming in. And now they're just going to mix it up. Just send everybody all the way back over. Protect their hooks. Trust Taimu to get some of that initial damage in. And Recry now going to be oh. heading over to the McCree. So uh, not liking uh, what he sees. And Wab, are uh, honestly uh, so uh, careful right here. Well, he's a ninja. All right, he knows oh. the hook's down. Yeah, that's right. Has to back off, though. Immediately, Mickey comes in. There's the reflect, but Aron needs to get out of there. Mission unsuccessful, man. Well, he doesn't have any backup. Like, you need, yep. you need to be able to dive together or at least be in line of sight for his Arya shield. So I'm not sure exactly what he thought he was going to be accomplishing. Here we go. Adam on the Winston is going to get nano boosted. Yeah, now he's got the nano boost. This is something that Envious really needs to worry about. He gets hooked, though, by Taimu. Still feeling healthy, though. Goes after Chips Ion. Chips nice. Ion taken down. And that may be what they needed to get things rolling. But two kills already. There's another hook on nope. Jin. And, well, they all decided to skip point A and start heading for point B. And Envious with that sound barrier able to uh, outlast him and take him down really easily. Mickey even getting a couple kills on that D.Va with no ultimate needed. I mean, he just found the supports. Now Mickey's going to be sitting there with his uh, self-destruct on the point, so very nicely done by Envy. They reacted well, split apart when they saw the nano boost coming in. Yeah. And now, again, the nano has not been used for the Dragon Blade. In my mind, uh -oh. so far Whoa. in this finals, oh, wow. as we see a little bit of duel going on. Operation Get Arhan, but they don't. He pulls out the Dragon Blade. He wants the kills now, trying to find Chips. Chips does go down. This could be it. Coco taking a lot of damage. Jin gets one kill as well. Recry picks one up. And Arhan, there's the Diva ultimate. They need to get back on the point again. Zoning from Adam, Harry Hook, filling that monkey full of bullets. So, oh, goodbye, Soldier 76. And Recry on the point. Looks like Africa Blue will finally take point A. Yeah, but they're not going to have much to use to try and snowball this into a two-point take, Doa. They've got a sound barrier, but only really a zoning tool with the high noon. MB doesn't have any ultimates available, but they only have to delay for about 20, 30 more seconds, and they're going to have a whole uh, host of them to utilize here in the defense. Yeah. Don't say host, man. I've been watching Westworld lately. It still makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I get the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> really? I'd love to go to Westworld. That would be super I bet fun. You. <laughs> It'd be super fun. Here comes Recry again. Goes in that uh, flashbang. Doesn't really find anybody with it. There's some damage on Coco, Saving that Deadeye. They've got to use that zoning tool effectively. Just whittling away at the Reinhardt shield for the moment. The shield is dropped. And will Envious survive this push? It's looking pretty good so far. As Mickey does get the kill on the Atom, so they are less one tank. Harry Hook backing away, very, very low. Whoa, he dodges the shots. Takes down Recry. Harry Hook, just amazing.
on the Soldier 76. And Africa Blue was indecisive in their approach. This is where they've typically fallen apart. When they have to move and attack an objective, they have been weak. And Dayfly just now has the Nano Boost. Arham working up to that Nano, or the, the Dragon Blade. But this, that's been their most successful form of attack so far, Doha. Yet they keep kind of, Dayfly keeps throwing it away on rather odd targets. Yeah. And Envy looking strong uh -oh. here. Have the Nano Boost, have the TAC uh -oh. Visor. Arhan going to be a sneaky, sneaky ninja. Yeah, Chip's getting very, very low. There's a Nano Boost on Adam immediately. And Chip's high and He's got that sound barrier. Doesn't help him survive too long. Now Internet Hulk going to be the next target. Arhan gets full supports, backs away. Kills coming in, though, from Afrika Blue as well. And so Envious may have enough to defend here. It looks like they do. So again, another ult combo from Arhan. He gets two kills, but the rest of his team can't quite capitalize on what Arhan's doing. No, they can't. And part of that is Mickey just playing a great defense here. Every time he sees Arhan or hears the Dragon Blade come in, he, all he does is jump on top of Day Flying and Yes Man and eliminate them, push them out of the combat. So they're trading supports, but the cost is Mickey doesn't even use the ult and, and Africa has to use Dragon Blade. Yep. So it's really not working out very well for them. Well, uh, Jin tries to find a spot for that Graviton Surge, catches Internet Hulk with it. They're going to get a little bit of time on the point, but not a whole lot. Mickey just disrupting, and there's the Devault, but they got to back away. No kills. Jin manages to survive it, rather, with that shield. Airy Hook a little bit low. He's going to get pounded to death by the giant gorilla. And Taibu, who gets the ult up right as he dies. And actually, Afrika Blue, they're putting together a pretty good push here, but they've got to survive the respawns. There's a the dead eye. Gets a kill on the ship's eye. And That's actually gets huge. a kill on the internet hulk. Full supports down. This could be it. Coco taken out. There goes Harry Hook, and they may be able to actually claim the point here. Mickey doing whatever he can to keep this alive, and there's the whole hog now for Taimu coming up just in time. Had it right before he died, got back just in time. The control meter two-thirds of the way up there, almost up all the way. Africa Blue nearly has the second point. They've almost got it. They just need to get rid of Coco. He's staying alive somehow in that Reinhardt, but no, that's it. And Africa Blue barely manages to grab two points on Volskaya. And 220. Now, when, here's been the strength of Africa over the course of Apex. When they're all together, their team fighting is very good. The problem is, is that they don't coordinate their advances very well, yeah. but that's why they've been successful on control. That's why they've had some level of success on hybrid and, uh, and assault maps. So we see there, very good communication around their ult usage. Great drop back. Recry makes a couple of big McCree plays. Drops back, goes ahead, pulls the dead eye, zones them off the point, gets another kill on the chips, and then they're able to take that one man, two man, three man advantage yeah. and just snowball it out on that point. So they end up with a pretty decent time. Like 220, not great, but not terrible either. Certainly enough to try and take another point here should NV push all the way through. And now Africa on defense. Now this is typically where they're more comfortable. Yes. So we'll see if they can control this point A. And Africa in particular has had some very good Volskaya B, uh, B side defenses. They're good at playing the high ground, spreading out, making it difficult for people to attack. Arhan gonna be back on the Genji again. Yeah, and, and you're absolutely right. Lately, Afrika Blue has been uh, the strongest on defense. And where their defense has been the strongest is has been on maps like this. So they've really put themselves in a position to take full Sky Industries, get themselves a little momentum going in the series. And now it's on Envious to uh, come from behind on a map for uh, the first time here today. I like the fact that Recry is using McCree here. Now, typically you'd see McCree more against dive compositions. But the thing is, is when you're running Genji McCree, uh, those are, if you were running, let's say, Genji Soldier, those are both good nano boost targets, and you don't necessarily want to split up like that. Meanwhile, the McCree, you can just throw his ult out there for a zoning tool, force people to back off of a point. So it's less dependent on using the nano boost in conjunction with it. So yeah, I just hope that they stick more to Arhan or uh, perhaps even Jin using that nano boost a little bit more because Arhan, I think, could have gotten more work done on some of these skirmishes had he been the recipient of the nano boost instead. Seems that way. Mickey going right in. Man, they are diving this one fast. They're just going to run right into the point. They know the defense is going to be on the upper right, as it normally is from the offensive perspective. Mickey just trying to disrupt people on top. They've split up Africa Blue just a bit. Most of them is mi have migrated over to the left side now. Fall into the point early. Yep, envious. Africa, they're just going to spam down the Reinhardt shield. Yeah, they will. Chip sign, keeping everybody healed for the moment. Arhan getting in the faces of Envious. Oh, Fred is out. Nice hook from Taimu. Taking out that Genji. That's a good start. Afrika Blue gonna jump down the point. Envious will jump down themselves as well. There he gets the kill onto Jin. That's big, and this is looking like a great push for, push for Envious so far. 
And he got the Reinhardt that shield down first, Noah. They were able yep. to burst it from over the point. And now this is going to have to be a pretty epic hold. We're looking at yeah. about nearly seven minutes, maybe. Yep, about 6.55 probably when this goes through. So uh, it's a long time to deal with for Africa Blue. And they're not going to switch anything up. Arhan getting picked off immediately. Huge right there. Was trying to be coy. Play around the side. Try and get some damage out. It's disrupted. That's Whoa, a great hook. Taimu gets a lot of damage done. On to uh, under Reinhardt, but not able to get a lot after that. Harry Hook is taken out. Yeah, you gotta worry so much about Taimu's hooks, but for now, Enrique Blue holds. And they switch. Uh oh, Chip's in trouble. Jin gets the kill on that Roadhog. Uh, Arhan going over to the May now. So it has been Recry, typically on the May, but with Recry still having the high noon available and being so successful on that McCree on their attack. I guess they're a little bit more comfortable having him. Now he is yeah. typically the McCree player and the May player on this team. We've seen Arhan play uh, May in the past. It has not been as good as Reek cries, but he's certainly uh, able to do it. Arhan just has a massive hero pool and can play pretty much everything well, you know? Attack visor, nano boost up here for yep. Envy. That's right, working on that Reinhardt shield again. Adam losing a lot of that. Gets it back up, that shield already in some trouble. And Afrika Blue having to defend. They're jumping down now. Coco goes in. There's the Maywall trying to split him up. Recry with the Nana Boost gets hit with a sleep dart. Nice sleep dart from Chips High in. And Afrika Blue trying to strike back. They've got the sound barrier. Mickey with the self destruct. No kills there. Jin misses a hook. Harry hook backed off. Pushed out by the, by the whole hog. And Blue looks like they will hold point B again. Yeah, they will. Arhan. Uh, still looks like working uh -oh. his... Oh, Bye. no, he did use the Blizzard. Gets a lot of ult charge there by picking off Taimu. Nice split spawn on the backside, but Africa has to dump everything. Because we saw the hook miss from Jin, he was forced to use the whole hog just to deal with the nano boost and Soldier. Yeah. And now Taimu and Internet Hulk. Ult's available. Could be a strong push here from Envy. And it doesn't really matter if it is or not because he's still at five minutes. Well, I mean, uh, five minutes, but, you know, that's another... Uh, Nearly two minutes gone already, so Envious can't uh, have a couple, have too many more pushes go this way. Harry Hook, just on the flank of the position, trying to do the damage again to Aron. Meanwhile, Envious sneaks around the side here. Taimu makes his present felt. Presence felt. I, I'm so impressed by Chips. Another amazing sleep dart onto the electric cowboy combo. Yeah. Really good stuff. Taimu's got the whole hog. Going in, the shield very, very low for Reinhardt. Goes for the hook, doesn't land it. Fire Strike comes through. Meanwhile, Mickey disrupting Recry as he goes in for the Deadeye again. No kills on that one. The mech does go down. Mickey taken out. Recry has to back away. Gets out of the way of that whole hog. Taimu trying to blast his way through the Maywall. Harry Hook, meanwhile, gets a kill on the Adam. So Envious may be able to get some time going on the control meter here. Harry Hook with three, not even with that TAC visor. Man, that's not Soldier 76. We got to rename him to Soldier Number One. And, and Internet Hulk still has a sound barrier, though. He didn't even have to pop in that fight again. It's like Africa doesn't understand the losing battle that they're fighting with Reinhardt Shields. Here we go. TAC visor with that nano boost. Yes, man, taken out. Immediately Blizzard drop, but it's not over the whole point. Taimu and some other members still safe. Harry Hook comes back in, and they are decimating Africa. Blue, much better time, 3.37 remaining for Envious after that two-point push. Yeah, absolutely, great time for them. We'll see if they can push through the point B again. Harry Hook doing so much work. And one thing that I will say about Internet Hulk, uh, ever since his swap over to Lucio, he has been so patient with his sound barriers. Yeah. He knows seemingly exactly the right time to use them nearly every time. And I think his Lucio play has gone a little bit underappreciated by people. Uh, he's been absolutely excellent on the hero. And you see it again there, just making sure that they have the old bank to power through and cap that point. But as I was saying, the Reinhardt, I mean, it's like Africa Blue doesn't get that their Reinhardt shield is going to go down faster when there's a Roadhog and a Soldier focusing it, right? Yeah. So they keep trying to take, in every map so far, they've tried to take these Reinhardt versus Reinhardt battles, and they lose every time. Shield shatters, Taimu hits a hook, or they just get rushed, and Africa hasn't really had an answer to that. Well, it has been interesting to see. Man, Envious pushing through that so quickly. And now Africa Blue. They need to see if they can repeat their earlier performance. They've got some time to do it. 2.20 on the clock is not too bad. And even taking one point here is significant because we are into time bank mode now. Yeah, 
I like the fact, finally, Africa, it took him a while to get back to this style, going for the dive compositions once again. Gonna have retry on that. McCree was successful once they finally swapped over to it. And Adam will get a nice heal there, and Dayfly gets a nice early lead on a mana boost advantage. Arhan right. gonna be flanking up on the high ground. High ground, everybody else staying low. Look at this, Mickey on top of him again, though. Well, it's like Mickey said, he wanted to just get on the DPS and try to prevent them from doing their thing, and that's exactly what he's been doing on the D.Va. Arhan, meanwhile, into the back lines now. So going after dangerous. Taimu. That's right, doesn't get hooked, manages to reflect it. Backs away, he's so confident in being able to reflect those hooks and not get caught, and they do get the kill on the Taimu. Strong push for Afrika Blue already. Mickey popped out of the suit right now. And Envious responding with some kills here. Yeah, and look at this. I mean, Mickey going after that. Actually gets yes, man. Huge kill. Now the point is ticking up. Arhan and Jin still going to be there, but he is going to resuit in time. I think he's going down there right away, man. Yeah, he's got to stop that. The control meter up to about halfway here, a little over. He's got to try to stay alive for as long as possible now. Pushing back the rest of Africa Blue. They're going to vacate the point for the moment. As Harry Hook did swap over to Tracer just to get back a little bit quicker. Arhan has the Dragon Blade going after Chip's Eye, who is jumping off anyway. And he will go down. Arhan can't find any more kills with it, but losing that uh, losing that honor hook. really does hurt him. Nice hook. Gets to reflect up just in time. Somehow Taimu doesn't get the kill. Meanwhile, Recry with the Dead Eye takes down Harry Hook. That's a problem. Doesn't hit the flashbang over the shield. Still goes after Internet Hulk here. There's a kill. And Recry's Hanzo Man has been so good. Sound barrier now. And Afrika Blue on their way to maybe taking a quick point A here. Well, Dolan, but they bought so much time because they died on the backside of that fight. They're going to have to assault super fast on a point B. They've got one push. They got to go right now. They have nano boost, though. Yep, so. and they, they do get 30 seconds more in assault, of course, in the tie bank mode to complete it. So they got about a minute. But yeah, they need to make this one work. He has that uh, Diva ultimate. He can buy some time. Harry on the main now, so trying to drag this out until he can get the Blizzard. Jin's got Graviton Surge right about now. So if they compare that with Arhan, he's really close to Dragon Blade going to the back lines. When's he going to drop it? Looking for it. There's a sound barrier, and we're waiting for it. Arhan, Arhan. pulls out the Dragon Blade. He's got to make it work. Big explosion for Mickey. Doesn't find anybody. They do push a Freak of Blue off the point for the moment. Taimu at half health. Needs to be so careful here. Coco flailing away at Adamu. Hops out there. There goes Recry. And Envious may be able to defend here. They're on the point. Coco very low. Out of full health yet. But he's kind of on his own. The rest of the team can't quite get on the point. Dayfly on the point by himself. Taimu with another hook. Putting that nano boost to good use. And it looks like Envious will be able to hold here. There's overtime. And Afrika Blue can't get back in time. That's one point for them. Okay, so we are going to end at three points for Africa. So I think right now, MB has a pretty good expectation of being able to take point A. So yeah. likely this map is going to go into one of those random Ilios points for sudden death after a draw. Now, typically we would have said that's a great scenario for Africa, who has been dominant on control, but after losing that 0-2, on their first control map on Nepal, maybe not any longer. That looks like it may be a lot more winnable now for Envy. Yeah. Well, they were able to get those two points pretty quick on their first offensive round here on Volskaya Industries. And if they can get two points again, they're going to just end the map right here. Otherwise, we uh, will go to that tiebreaker. Let's take a look at that final fight one more time here. I, again, great sound barrier. Waited till they were all baited in. And even though there was a nano boost at Genji, there was no work to be done. It was a little bit early. Uh, so the nano boost over, or the uh, the sound barrier over shield was still there. They tried to drop uh, that Graviton Surge late in that fight, but not enough AOE to actually make the best use of it. Great positioning by Envy. <laughs> All right, well, party time. Is that what happens when Bastion freaks out? That's what happens when uh, the, uh, yeah, the Bastion freaks out pretty all right, much. All right, I, mean, fair uh, I don't know. That's about it. So what happens when one of the feathers from Archimedes gets into the uh, circuitry there. It's Ganymede. Ganymede? Oh, you're, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Random Greek name. So I just throw those out there sometimes. Yeah, Greek scientist, uh, yeah. Greek child god, you know, same thing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right, here comes time move. Here comes Envious. Trying to win Volskaya Industries. Diva versus Diva as Mickey backs away. They're going to take the high ground, as uh, we see most teams do. Recry very low. 
not able to heal for a long time because that biotic grenade can finally get it up now. Diamond oh. with the hook. Oh, and a big push already from Envious. They've got three kills, and now there goes Yes Man. More like No Man, you're not defending point A. Envious is going to take this one fast. Absolutely. Africa looking at a long hold now. No ultimates for anybody because that was so quick, but thanks to Taimu again landing those hooks. And one thing that we, we should mention about Taimu, sometimes he was getting in front of the Reinhardt shield in previous games. This time Taimu is playing further back. He hasn't had any silly deaths where he walks forward, tries to get, you know, those style hooks on people yeah. and gets hooked in response, which was a problem when he played against Kongu Onsia. Much more reserved, intelligent Roadhog play so yeah, far in this series. Envious as a team is looking really tight right now. Area. Oh, he gets a snipe on the recry. That right click, man. That's Got him with go the button. Helix Rockets. It certainly is. They're going to go in. 6v5 for the moment. Harry Hook trying to do work again on the Soldier 76. Big buy out of grenade. Gets the nano boost. He's nearly got that attack visor too. Aron having to run for his life. And now getting in the back lines. Oh, Recry barely escapes. There's a hook though. Dayfly taken out by Taimu. Harry Hook though does not survive very long. But look at the control the meter. They nearly got it. Envious gets two points. Africa Blue could not get back there. A 3-0 lead in this grand finals now for Envious. Wow, huge place. Now also Mickey both on the defense and on the offense of that, of that point, on point B. On the defense, had a really clutch uh, self-destruct right on the, the kind of nodule in the middle. Nodule. To, nodule, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay. Pillar. Sure. Uh, in the middle Bump. of the point in order to uh, push everybody out right as the round was expiring. That time, he has his ultimate up, gets it up, and you know what he does is he just jams it in that doorway where Recry is on the high ground, so Recry cannot drop down onto the point to contest for overtime. Yeah. Really great situational awareness by Mickey. <laughs> There's time giving you the finger hearts. That's right.